The S&P Global has affirmed its ratings for the UK and Italy and upgraded Greece to investment grade for the first time since the country's debt crisis came to a head in 2010. Let's get to Sylvia for more. Sylvia, I'm not sure which one to cheer first. There's been issues with all three over the past uh, number of years. So just walk us through the developments. Let me start with the positive news then. Let's look at Greece because this is a big development for this economy. S&P has become the first out of the three big credit rating agencies that has upgraded Greece's rating to investment level for the first time since 2010. We had seen the VRS saying that a couple of weeks back, but now we're having S&P also changing their position on the Greek economy. They're expecting growth to uh, actually be at around 2.4% this year and the next. They're saying they're expecting structural reforms going forward from the new democracy government. So let's indeed monitor what's happening in the Greek economy for the time being, a very important and welcome development. Within this context, we actually heard it this morning, the European Stability Mechanism, which is essentially the bailout fund that the EU has saying that recovering the investment level is just a first step. And of course, Greece now needs to work to keep that great. Let me focus for a moment on the United Kingdom. Here, S&P kept its ratings affirmed. It didn't change the outlook as well. But important to keep in mind that we also heard from Moody's and they actually dropped their negative outlook on the UK economy, saying that now there's more policy predictability after that mini budget crisis of last year. Let me focus as well on Italy. We know that investors are closely monitoring what's happening with public finances in Italy. S&P, however, kept its, its ratings uh, for Italy. It said the outlook is stable, but one of the conditions for this uh, update is that there's a full deployment of the next generation EU funds. And of course, there's a big question mark there about how Italy, whether first of all, Italy will use all of the money available from these funds. And second of all, how will they actually be deployed across the Italian economy? So one for us to monitor there, particularly as we see volatility also on the Italian bond market.